Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technology, Python programming, artificial intelligence, machine learning and similar. Today we are going to look at a very interesting and useful tool that's used in IoT and IIoT environments. It interfaces very well with the industrial uh, automation and uh, machines and, and systems. It's called Node-RED. It was originally invented by or created by IBM and open sourced. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, we're going to show a small demonstration of its power and would be developing more tutorials on how it should be used uh, and explore its full capability. So to get started, you can see uh, my environment, which is uh, running on CentOS 7. And uh, we're going to run Node-RED in here and show you how you can set it up using a variety of installation options. Today, for this tutorial, I'm going to use um, Node-RED running on Docker. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, like I said, this is my uh, Linux CentOS environment. Let me just open it up and let's start with the Node-RED uh, website and let's quickly go through its uh, functionality and a little bit of its description. So as it says, it's a low-code programming for event-driven applications. It's a programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, online services in in new and number of different ways. It provides a browser-based editor and, and it makes it easier to string together um, d devices and, and nodes to create your functionality, the required functionality. So th there's a small definition here. One is nodes, which are uh, primarily uh, functionality um, encapsulated in to these objects and when they are strung together um, to perform a certain task it's called a flow so those are the two basic definitions that we need to work with um, in, in the last count uh, we had um, node-red had about 4000 plus uh, nodes in its palette so you can imagine the amount of different uh, functions we can uh, do with this uh, tool um, as it says here there are JavaScript functions uh, that can be created uh, within the editor using a rich text editor. A built-in library allows you to save useful functions, templates, or flows for reuse. It's built on Node.js. So that's the website. Uh, you can, like I said earlier, you can install in a variety of ways uh, locally, uh, running on Docker on a device. It's also uh, running in the cloud, provided by FlowFuse and couple of these uh, public cloud like Amazon and Microsoft Azure and um, it's also used on the edge so uh, running on a Raspberry Pi or one of these small uh, footprint devices it, it's um, uh, installed on the or deployed on the edge to interface with uh, a number of different um, devices and then be able to send that its data whether streaming or in batch over uh, network or Wi-Fi and similar so uh, for this tutorial we're just going to look at a very simple uh, example and um, and then build on top of that as uh, we develop further um, uh, you know, our, our capability and um, show you what uh, can be done with uh, Node-RED so like I said I used uh, Docker here for this example but you can install it um, locally or any other way so that's a very simple way to get it started and running so I won't go into that but that's the command I ran to get it up and running okay so once it's up and running this is what you're presented with you have a palette and on the left hand side you have all these nodes and you can see that they are categorized common function by function or by network related um, sequencing parsing storage and like I said there are to last count there were like 4,000 plus nodes so let's get started um, I have uh, a, a flow called I just named it simple MQTT flow and uh, my, my plan here is to show you how 
you can use uh, Node-RED to send a message and it is received on another machine or another remote server machine and uh, displayed so what we are going to use here is uh, MQTT it's a very popular um, lightweight protocol that uses a public subscribe model so if you're familiar with that model um, it usually has a topic so you can subscribe to a topic and you can also publish to a topic so when I publish to a topic uh, anyone subscribing to that uh, topic will, will receive that um, that data or that information so um, we have a publicly available uh, Eclipse Mosquito server it's a uh, free of cost and we will use it for our demonstration purposes today and it's a test.mosquito.org okay so let's get back here and the first thing we want to do is um, uh, let's set up an MQTT so let me just if I type it in here it uh, gives me these options so MQTT in if I hover it uh, my mouse here tells me that connects to your MQTT broker and subscribe to messages from the specified or specified to topic so let's drag it here and we also have MQTT out okay right now there these are two nodes they're not connected as you can see they're not being deployed and uh, we're going to show how we can uh, connect these together uh, let, let's also put in a debug so we can see as those messages are printed or, or published so let me hook it here uh, and I can simply connect it like this and they're connected and on this side I need uh, some kind of um, so in a typical uh, environment this uh, somebody or some server some machine would be sending data and it would be uh, received on this MQTT so let's let's select this inject and it's as it says inject some message into a flow either manually or at regular intervals the message payload can be a variety of types including strings JavaScript objects or uh, even a timestamp a current timestamp so let's drag it here and we're going to connect this together okay so what we have here right now is we have an injector node which can inject uh, like like it said a variety of data types objects it's received on MQTT and uh, uh, we're going to sp specify that uh, publicly available uh, mosquito um, test server and this is going to be subscribed to that so it's, it'll pick it up and we'll see if we are getting the right information here on by the debug so that's the debug node right now we just added these nodes there's no configuration they've not been deployed so one concept here is to um, make some additional configuration and then uh, on the right hand side you have the deploy button so whenever we make any changes when we hit the deploy then it's actually deployed and it'll show us so let's set up the MQTD servers um, MQTD first uh, let's go here so I, I have a name already here so I think this is from a previous so if we can take a look at it and see you can see that that's the test.mosquito.org um, and I've set it up to connect automatically uh, you can use uh, a, a few different protocols so you have 3.1 uh, legacy 3.11 MQTT 5 uh, version 5 I was just using uh, for this uh, tutorial legacy um, don't really need anything for this demo uh, we can go ahead you can for more secure environments you can select security and uh, other additional configurations which we can cover in a later uh, later tutorial if you can add that into the comments so let's update that so that's configured uh, we can give it a test so MQ TT topic I just made it up let me also make a copy here and let's say done over here if I double click and you see here that I'm also talking to that same I need to have the same 
topic so they can communicate um, I don't uh, need to put anything else I can just say done um, I'm making it as, as simple as possible just to show you how this can work for timestamps let's uh, take a couple of them or, or three or four different types and I can show you uh, how they work and we can all hook them up to the input of this MQTT so let's connect that, that there and this guy here as well okay so this one's set up for timestamp let's uh, set this up for let's say maybe a string so from the drop down I can select string and I can say hello world and uh, I'll right now we'll do it manually so it should be okay this one let's do something different so from the drop down as you can see there are a number of uh, different uh, things that I can choose let me choose a number and here I can say one two three four five six seven eight some number okay so that's set up that's set up um, let's go ahead and say deploy and these uh, MQTT should show that they are connected you can see here so they are actually connected to that um, online uh, server provided by uh, Eclipse Mosquito the test.mosquito.org okay so let's set it up for debug let's hit this guy here and from here select the de debug mode and let's try it so let's try the timestamp first and you can see it um, I in so this is what's happening I, I manually injected a timestamp it hit the MQTT um, server uh, and the topic was the MQTT topic as shown here this one it's a remote device you can see there's no connection between these two and this is also subscribed to that same topic so mm -hmm. subscription means that it's watching out for that uh, anything to happen or anything to come in in terms of data so uh, you can see that they are not connected and that's an important uh, thing to note here and uh, but it's it has to be um, looking at the same topic so it, it uh, reads that and debug is simply a way to troubleshoot and you can see that it, it rightly showed the timestamp now let's look at the text if I inject this you can see that it injected hello world and uh, let's try another one so this number here and it injected that number so let's see I I I go here and I change it to hello world hello info words right I, I made some changes to the data now you can see that um, indication here that it's not deployed so I need to go here and redeploy once it's redeployed and it also says successfully now let's try and re-inject and we should see uh, a new data coming in so the idea here is that I can also set it to uh, this is a manual I can set it to a repeating number so let's see let's try this timestamp make a quick configuration so uh, inject once after this and then interval let's say every every five seconds let's see right so this, this is a very useful use case that you have a certain machine that it's sending its data let's say it's a temperature reading or a pressure monitor and it's sending data every five seconds now let's see how that works once we deploy it so deploy it now let's hit it once so that comes up let's say it's some pressure reading oh sorry we did the timestamp and you can see the indication there and um, so let's say th these are some readings coming in and you can see that every five seconds uh, you're getting a, a new data point so I, I just wanted to show a very basic uh, MQTT uh, deployment using Node-RED and I, I think you can appreciate the power of this uh, tool um, I will be creating more videos on this to explore some more um, 
more complicated flows, including uh, triggering, including transformation of data, making changes. You can uh, transform between XML, JSON, uh, CSV. So very, very powerful tool. Um, and uh, please do comment and um, let me know how th this went. And I'll, like I said, I'll be creating more more videos and more tutorials uh, on this topic thank you for listening look forward to your comments and don't forget to subscribe thank you